Welcome to Currency Calculations Step by Step. This tutorial explains how to calculate a change in the value of a currency over a given period of time. The currency calculation process consists of the following three steps. One, identify the target currency and the base currency. Two, if the target currency is the base currency, use the formula change equals the ending value minus the beginning value over the beginning value. We'll call this formula number one. Three, if the target currency is not the same as the base currency, use the formula change equals the beginning value minus the ending value over the ending value. We'll call this formula number two. Let's take a look at two examples. In the first example, the spot rate between the US dollar and the euro was $1.4567 per euro a year ago. The current spot rate is $1.4321 per euro. What is the change in the value of the euro? In the second example, the spot rate between the yen and the US dollar was 82 yen per dollar a year ago. The current spot rate is 77 yen per dollar. What is the change of the value of the yen? So in the first example, the rate moves from $1.4567 per euro to $1.4321 per euro. Here the target currency is the euro since we are asked to find the change in the value of the euro. The base currency is also the euro. That is the currency in the denominator. Since the target currency is the same as the base currency, we use formula number one. The change in the value of the euro equals the ending value minus the beginning value over the beginning value. That equals 1.4321 minus 1.4567 over 1.4567. The result is negative 0.0169 or negative 1.69%. In the second example, the spot rate moves from 82 yen per dollar to 77 yen per dollar. The target currency is the yen since we are asked to find the change in the value of the yen. The base currency is the currency in the denominator or the US dollar. Since the target currency is not the same as the base currency, we use formula number two. The change in the value of the yen equals the beginning value minus the ending value over the ending value. That equals 82 minus 77 over 77 or 0.0649 or 6.49 percent. Here is a tip to verify your answer. An increase or decrease in the numeric value corresponds to a rise or fall of the base currency. In the first example, the drop from $1.4567 per euro to $1.4321 per euro represents a decline in the value of the euro. In the second example, the drop from 82 yen per dollar to 77 yen per dollar represents a decline in the value of the US dollar or a rise in the value of the yen. In summary, when the target currency is the base currency, the change equals the ending value minus the beginning value over the beginning value. If the target currency is not the base currency, the change equals the beginning value minus the ending value over the ending value. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching.